Hi everyone, in this video we're going to cover two topics. We're going to cover what to do after level 70 and we're also going to cover how to get better gear after the 70. So in case it's your first time playing or you haven't played in a while, basically in this video I'm going to cover how to get to endgame stuff and also what is endgame. So let's say for instance you just completed a campaign on normal or hard difficulty, how do you get to basically where I'm now? How to get like 4 million damage? So the first thing we're going to look at is something actually within the menus. So if we look here at the game settings, we have campaign, adventure and challenge rifts and we also have the difficulty. Now it's quite normal to just do the campaign once just to try the story it's actually quite good but then after that you basically only want to play adventure mode because this is actually where all the end game content is this is where you can do bounties nephilim rifts greater rifts so you basically want to spend all our time in adventure mode and also another thing is seasons so every four or so months we get a new season with the game and basically you get to start fresh and these seasons have extra beneficial buffs that makes it a lot more fun this is what 99 percent of players actually play they play seasonal and i also recommend you play seasonal but don't worry leveling in diablo 3 is not an issue at all even if you just hit your first character to the 70 it maybe it took you a lot of hours after you've done the first character get to the 70 it's a lot easier after that and also adventure mode has a lot of things you can do to get to 70 even quicker and also if you go and use the resource called max world you can actually go here and go to 1 to 70 leveling guide but let's say you just hit your first counter to 70 what do we do now so the first thing we're going to look at is difficulty this game is all about getting higher and higher difficulty because that's where you get more gear and more loot as you can see here if we look at something like normal or hard you can see here extra gold and extra xp bonus for hard it is 75 percent but if we go over and look at something like T16, which is the highest so far in Nephilim Rift, you see it's up to 7,000% gold and 17,000% extra XP. And you also get a lot more gear drop. So if you're just starting out, this is basically the first step. We want to get to Tommen 16 because this is where we can farm the best stuff. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to cover how to get from basically a fresh character to 70, maybe farming on hard or even normal, and how you can go up to farming Tommen 16 as fast as possible. So if you just hit level 70, the first thing we want to focus on is this season journey. This is also why I earlier recommended playing seasonal because there's a really really easy way to get a full six piece like this. As you can see here we get a two piece, a four piece and a six piece and usually the six piece gives a massive damage increase. As you can see here this buffs the damage of some of our spells by 20,000%. So if you can get a six piece like this it will basically take you from farming maybe hard difficulty all the way up to farming at least Tom 10 or even higher. And it's also pretty simple actually you just want to complete the first four chapters here within the season journey. So it's basically just killing a few bosses, obtaining a few items. And once you get efficient and you know how this works, it usually just takes a few hours with the season to get this. So just complete these chapter by chapter. This will also give you some of the gear as you go by. And it's by far the best first step to take. Okay, so we now have either our six piece here. Basically, the next thing we want to do is want to look up at real build guide. This game that six piece here will be really nice, but you also want to get everything else you need for a solid build. You can usually find some really good build guides either, on, of course, on YouTube, my channel, or you can also go on Maxwell again, as I showed before. So if we go Maxwell, we go to tier list and we go to for instance, solo experience tier list is usually a really good one to start farming early. You can then see what is basically so far the best builds for every second class. So let's say, for instance, currently we are playing Barbarian. We would then push the barb and then see what are the current builds that are ranked highest. So you can see we can either go for something like the LOD holder or some of the other builds here. Let's say we like the looks of these builds. We can, of course, click them and then we get a full guide on how these work. So, of course, you want to basically read all this. This explains how everything works. But basically, what you want to do is scroll down to DR solo speeds and then this is currently the build you want to make. As you can see here, it using a six piece and then also a lot of other different items. So for instance, an Indium or an Ambrose Pride, basically a lot of different legendary affixes that have a secondary that then gives you a power. And basically by combining a few different items, you can make really solid builds that can farm Tom 16, so even higher than that. You of course also later on want to make the other builds like Nephilim Rifts or Bounty Build. But the first one to look at is the DR Solar Speeds. This would be the bed and brother for every class. So as you can see, I'm also using a different version of that so far on my character here. I have a of course the six pc and everything like that and of course also items that give you more powers okay so now we're basically ready right we have our six piece from the seasonal journey we know what build we want to make next that's of course from the max wall so now i know where to go and i'm going to show you how to get there a the good thing about diablo is that it's fairly simple in game stuff there are only like three major things you actually do in game and that is bounties nephilim rifts and great rifts so bounties if you open up your map you can see here on these bounties down here if you complete all of these five crests here you get a bounty cache as you can see there are one of these for each of the acts so if you see this exclamation mark above it 
that means there's a bounty you have not yet complete and all these bounties give you different materials as you can see there's a material for each different bounty and you want to get at least one of them done of each it's going to give you some materials that we're going to need later on it's a really good way to get bounty materials like these and also a really good way to get overall crafting materials like these over here now the next thing you want to look at is in the nephilim obelisk we have a thing called nephilim this is nephilim rift this is where you basically get more crafting materials like these so the standard crafting materials and you also get greater with keystones now the major reason to do these nephilim risks is for death's breath they're used for crafting and then also greater with keystones that is used for opening greater rifts and greater rifts is basically where you where spend 90 percent of, of your time when you're playing this game this is where you're gonna get the most gear the most xp the most loot overall so everything we do in this game is to go higher and faster in greater rifts that's also because greater rift gives you a lot of experience so once you start of course getting paragon you can see we get paragon here as soon as you get over 800 paragon you can fill all of these out so you get all the stats here and then you can just start maxing out for instance movement speed get some vitality and also your main stat and it's going to give you a ton of damage and also toughness so basically the more paragon you can get the stronger you'll become okay so how do we actually get better gear what are the steps we need to get really good solid gear like i have currently here as you can see in this character here we have a lot of ancients but also with really good stats one of the first thing to look at is of course the blacksmith here you can craft armor and weapons so for instance if your build requires something like the canes or the captain crimson set this is where you could craft these if we look here for instance you can craft the captain crimsons if you don't see this just because you need to find it as a recipe with doing either bounties or from goblins within rifts we could also for instance craft weapons let's say we want to craft some rare one-handed mighty weapons here i'm going to show what i'm going to do with them in a bit here you can craft these and then you can use them to upgrade the next thing we're going to look at is kadala if you look at kadala you can buy things for blood shards if you look at my inventory over in the corner here we have blood shards here and blood shards you can basically buy items and there's a really solid way to get really good gear actually so for instance you could buy gloves and try and get some really good items and get some six pieces of course so we just start spending some and see if we get anything good of course you can see we get some all okay decent items we first got these gloves here for the mighty set so we can continue doing this until we have a full six piece just by using the blood shards here now a good tip is that you never want to buy anything that costs 75 or more blood shards so for instance buying weapons or amulets is never worth it you can buy rings they do cost 50 which is quite a lot but if you have everything else in really good stats and really good ancients you can buy rings but typically you want to buy everything that costs 25 so that is all the armor pieces and of course also like an offhand like crevice and orbs everything like that let's just get way more efficiency out of this now let's say we didn't have these gloves here and we were trying to get these gloves for our build we could then of course buy some from kadala but then the next thing you could do actually also use the cube this is a nice cube you can find this if you open up your map go to act 3 bastion's keep and then go runes of cesaron basically you want to do this entire map and then you find nice cube this is one of the most powerful resources in the game to get better gear if we look here we have three powers right now a crypt you can see we have a weapon we have an armor slot and we also have a jewelry slot so these with other legendary powers let's say for instance the braces or the neck here all of this together combined with the six piece is what's giving us so much damage so it's really important we get these three powers and we of course follow the build guide we are using so we do this by using the first page called extract here so let's say for instance this was the weapon i was going to use for my build i would put that in i would then press build here on page one and then press transmute this would extract the power and then i can find it in here and then equip that and now i have that as an extra power and i get the full benefit of this one we also have reinforce which basically allows you to re-roll the stats of an item this could also make it an ancient or a primal for instance let's say these gloves here we want to get these gloves but they rolled the incorrect stats we could use the reforce to try and get a better one we put that in and you can also see this also where the bind cells are so good then press fill and then we press transmute and this could give us anything basically we can get better stats we can get worse stats. we can ancient and primal this is one of the best ways to get a target specific item although i would recommend you only using this for either weapons or jewelry as they are more difficult to get usually and also really important is also recipe 3 here upgrade rare item basically you could put in any kind of item i would also recommend for instance weapon here is a really good way to get weapons for your build you put it in transmute and upgrade this turns basically a yellow in item into a legendary so as you can see if we craft item from the blacksmith and then use this to upgrade items there's a really really solid way to get some really good initial items let's say for instance this was my main weapon the morseless but i want to get one with a bit of secondary and also preferably ancient so i could just keep 
spamming these trying to get an upgrade as you see we got another one and this is a bit higher secondary so this might have been an upgrade right so we could just keep doing this and see what we kind of get now there is no guarantee if you're gonna get anything good here but it's a really solid way to get some good early items and for also getting something like powers to extract the next thing we're looking at in the cube is also convert set items let's say for instance we have these gloves here but i don't need the gloves i already have pair of gloves i want the shoulders i could put these in and then press the transmute bear mind these can't actually roll ancient but you can still get them with the correct rolls and the correct items as you can see i actually just got the shoulders we needed there's a really solid way to get the items you're after and you can keep doing this let's say we get these shoulders here but they don't have the correct stats we can put in the recipes again and then press transmute and then see what else we get there's a really solid way to get a first six piece let's say you have two pair of the shoulders you could transmute one of them and see if you get maybe like a chest piece or the pants and of course fill in the full six piece like this the worry about page five is kind of useless now page six is really interesting there's a way to for instance transmute gems if we need more of a certain color as you can see here if you put in any gem times nine and then any of the essence here we we'll basically we roll any gem to another gem on a different color so let's say for instance we were after more dexterity gems we we're playing a demon hunter or monk we want more dexterity gems we could put in any color let's say for instance this imperial topaz we put this in and along with the essence of emerald this one here we could then press transmute and then that would give us more of the imperial emeralds and you can do this every way by the way you can convert this again to another color do you lose nothing from doing this and you get this by the way by going to act two and going to squirt the peddler and then go to miscellaneous and there you can buy all of them now what i really like to do is use this for when i want to augment i'm going to show what augment is a little bit but basically augmenting is really good for increasing power but let's say we want flawless royal rupees because we're playing a barbarian of course but we don't have enough what we can do is of course then craft the royal amethyst and then we can convert them so let's say we have these 10 here we put this in along with one of the is of ruby and then we convert these and you can see we just got nine more of the royal rubies and then we can use these for of course putting on our gear we of course put them into our gear or we can also use them for augmenting the next three pages are a really solid way to get crafting materials basically these i showed you before you can basically convert all these into each other so for instance you could make veil crystal into reusable parts and the other way around of course and you can see here if you want to convert reusable parts we would need a hundred reusable parts of course because we make the reusable part into something else and then we need one of the following items either a magic equitable a rare accrual item basically a blue or a yellow item so let's say we put these gloves in here and then press fill as soon as we put in the usual parts one death breath and then also the item and we press transmute as you can see we got a hundred rare crystals from that and you can of course also do this all the way around you can make arcane dust into one of the other or you can also make veil crystals into reusable parts or arcane dust that's one of the best ways to convert your materials around so you can get a balance you just need these crafting materials for crafting and for upgrading and of course the last pace here is augmenting this is major for getting increased power now it might look a bit scary at first here but let me explain to you what it means what you need is an ancient item a legendary gem and then three of the flawless gem you want to use so basically this gives you different stuff as you can see if you hover over them where says other this is that you're going to get so as you can see on the royal emerald you get 280 dexterity 280 strength or 208 intelligence these are the main stats so you basically want to augment with one of these depending on what class you have and you always want to augment according to what is your main stat so if you open up the paragon you can see what is your main stat here as you see for me it is strength because that's what i get from a paragon so i always want to augment with strength so it's quite simple you want to put in three of the ruby of course we want to put in a lindo gem you can of course always upgrade these you get these from greater rifts of course and also an ancient item if you put all these in together and press transmute as you can see here 117 gem you will lose the gem but you didn't get main stat in terms of that level so you got 585 strength here you get five more main stat for each level it has so of course when i get these augments as high as level as possible but as you can see that's almost 600 extra main stat which is just massive if you get that on every single item that is thousands and thousands of more main stat was a really solid way to get more main stat and becoming powerful of course if watching scene 25 you can just use a soul shard so pop another three soul shard the rubies again and the same item and then you always get a 125 augment out of that so if you're watching scene 25 then do that but for the rest of you if you're watching further in or if you're watching in non-seasonal that is how you augment so in game in diablo 3 is all about basically crafting stuff making yourself stronger and stronger so you can do higher grade lifts and then when you do higher graves you get better results so you can get more blood shards per grade lift. you can upgrade the lindo gems to higher so those are some of the things you want to do at level 70 you want to craft things from the blacksmith of course crafting 
crimson's crafting things you can then upgrade with the cube and of course really really taking advantage of the cube to upgrade extract everything like this use the cube as much as possible to try and make yourself stronger now remember when you're comparing two items let's say you have currently a non-ancient equipped and you find another that is ancient only equip the ancient if it is the same stat or higher you always want to look at the stats first so for instance something on a glove here you always want critical hit damage critical hit chance cooldown reduction those are way more important than it being ancient or even primal. So remember to look at that before you do anything else in terms of pulling on an ancient. For instance, if we compare these two squirts here, if I put this on, I'll get 2.9% more damage. But the most important thing here is to have the correct rolls. So for me right now, the build I'm playing, I want physical damage. That squirt I'm looking at has fire and strength and it doesn't have a socket right now. So even though my damage here would go higher, it would be a massive damage decrease because what you want to look at when looking at damage is actually in here you want to open your details and then go to the image you're using so let's say in this build we are playing a physical build all our damage comes from rent here and that's a physical rune we have on so our physical damage here is all we care about as you see that is currently 7.1 million if i put this on that's currently saying i'm getting a 2.9 percent increased damage let's look at this right so we actually are at 4.3 so this would go up right it's now at 4.4 but it's really like as before on the physical we're at 7.1 and then we put that on we are now at 6.5 as you can see a massive damage decrease even though it looks like a high damage number this is where you want to look at you always want to look at elemental damage according to what build you are playing remember that guys i cannot stress that enough you always want to make sure you have the correct roles even if you find an item that is ancient and it's still the same item you want to really make sure that it's the same roles or even higher and also let's look at something like this before remorseless it has a secondary effect this grow between 600 to 800 you want to make sure this goes as high as humanly possible and you still have the other crit rolls on it you can of course always enchant to get another roll let's say for instance we don't want tell here you want something like percent damage or attack speed error damage we're going to only do that with one of the stats so to sum it up real quick we want to play seasonal we want to try and get to thomas 16 as fast as humanly possible because that's where you get all the gear we want to do the season journey to get a full six piece then we also want to go on Maxwell or YouTube and find a full build guide we can use later on for speed farming. We then get the initial build from that and then we can start working on getting better gear. So for in-game we had bounties, we had Nephilim Rifts and Greater Rifts. So bounties are good for getting things for the cube, they are good for upgrading and reforging. Nephilim Rifts are good for getting crafting materials, death breath and Greater Rift keystones and for doing Greater Rifts. And then Greater Rifts is the bread and butter of in-game. It's basically just about trying to go as high as you can, as quick as you can. So if you can get to the point where you can speed farm let's say tier 90 in like 2 or three minutes that's really really good that's going to give you a ton of experience gear and everything like that make sure to really use the cube for everything crafting related and no matter what you're doing make sure when you find new items always look at the correct roles it doesn't matter if it's ancient or primal make sure you have the correct roles that you are after according to what the build guide says i've seen plenty of people run around with a full primal set but if you have the incorrect roles and incorrect pieces you're going to do zero damage anyway so remember that the primals and ancient are not as important as having the correct items with the correct high roles and the best way to get better gear is as i mentioned before using katala to gamble for things that cost 25 or 50 look for where you can have the biggest upgrade that is you see on items where you have a legendary affect so like a secondary on a coverage of elements that's a secondary that can roll from 150 to 200 you want to get those as high as possible then also items that have high stats like something like crit damage and crit chances so gloves are really good so it's usually more important to get a good pair of gloves than let's say for instance the legs because the legs only provide toughness stats whereas the gloves is a massive damage increase and really really use the cube for extracting reforging and upgrading upgrading rare items are the best way to get something like weapons or jewelry pieces to get really good stuff and you want to do this early game mid game and late game you always use the cube basically now if you want an in-depth guide on how we can farm thousands of thousand paragon per season then watch this video here as a full in-depth video explaining how you can get to paragon three and four thousand paragon every season so if you combine the knowledge i've shared in this video and you combine it with what is in that video you're going to be blasting some really high graves in no time so i hope you found this video useful and i'll see you in the other video peace out everyone